Go ahead. Um, good game for us tonight. Um, I thought we had good energy in the first half. Uh, got off to a nice start, which always helps. Uh, had a little lull at the, about the five or six minute mark. I think we were up to 12 or 14. They cut it to five, but then we had a nice run at um, the last minute and a half to kind of take a 12 point lead at half. Um, second half, other than the first two minutes, again, I thought we sustained our energy, uh, put them away when we needed to. And uh, you know, the one thing we did tonight is we knocked down some open shots uh, when, the clock, when the shot clock's been running down. And uh, I thought we did a good job of taking it to the hole and finishing. And um, um, defensively, uh, I thought we did a really good job. I know Nelson had 16, but it didn't seem like he had a, a ton of really good looks. Um, giving up 54 points. Uh, it's a great job by our by our team, and uh, hopefully that's something we can sustain for the next two days, our next two games. Lots of contributions from the bench today. Yeah, you know, I mean that's something that that uh, that um, we've had not in the last couple of weeks, but uh, it's important for us to, uh, you know, I feel we have guys that can contribute off the bench, um, and uh, especially our bigs. Um, you know, Raphael's been rebounding the ball a little bit better. And, and get eight or nine points uh, uh, off the bench, which is great. Um, uh, you know, uh, Mike needs to score for us. Wolf, he knocked down some threes early. In the, uh, early, well, he knocked down some threes in the first half, which is good. Um, he's been a little bit hesitant, but uh, um, but for for whatever reason, because a shooter is 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 his best uh, best attribute. So, um, plus when the bench scores, it gives our gives some of our starters a rest. So, that's that's really important. Did you do anything different against Logan Harris because he came out and scored seven early and then he didn't do much after that? You know, um, I, I think we maybe warmed down a little bit. We put a lot of different guys on him. I think when Raphael came in, he got him off the block because Raphael's a strong guy. Um, I think Timmy and and um, um, and Mark uh, physically uh, didn't handle him very well. Those were two big kids. But uh, when Raphael came in, I thought he did a really good job of getting a body on him. I thought maybe it tired him out a little bit. And then we just kept putting different guys on him. It'd be Crutch, it'd be Ralph. Um, uh, you know, we play five or six guys in the post. They maybe played three, and then when they subbed, they went really small. So I thought that was a big factor. Um, like you said earlier, they got up to a quick start in the second half. Was there any adjustments you made to stop the run from getting out of hand? You know, I, the biggest thing is we've been talking the last couple of weeks about uh, not giving up big runs. I mean, we've given up big runs this year, 17-0, 18-4, 20-2. to um, The thing that we've been trying to stress, at least in practice, we've been playing these three-minute games, is to be more patient. All right, they're making a run, uh, then we have to slow it down offensively and just get better shots. Um, and I thought we did that. We were more patient, we moved the ball. Uh, you make the other team play defense for a longer period of time, and I think that slows another team's momentum down. I thought we did a much better job of that tonight. Nate, how much have you and Jamison kind of grown with each other this year and kind of liked that lineup on the floor? We've grown a lot. Uh, it's a different look for people. So, I mean, I think it works. We come from each other pretty well. Um, and defensively, it gives us a, a better look, you know, as far as you know, defensively. And having two people on the court that can handle the ball is significant when it comes down to, you know, late game situations. And, even early game situations, having two people who can distribute, it helps us a lot. So me and him have grown a lot. We're still learning, but uh, we're growing a lot. Well, you put eight rebounds up in today too, so that helps you, you know, attack the basket too, maybe. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, when I can rebound, uh, I feel like I can. It, it, it causes a, a problem for the other team because I can get it and just go instead of uh, having to come back and out that. And, that, and that's, that works to my advantage, um, to catch people off guard, stuff like that. So, yeah, that definitely helps a lot. Coach, do you see a little of Nate in Jameson? No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, you know, the, the thing about Jameson, he's come in this year in much better shape than he did last year. And, um, and so he's been able to get by people. I think if you notice from last year to this year, he's been able to get to the rim just because he's in, you know, he, he came in and, you know, uh, you know, he lost 15 pounds over the summer, um, but he's right. I mean, the thing that's that's been great with these two is that they're interchangeable at the one-two spot, and uh, and then they're interchangeable defensively. So, um, 
when James is distributing the ball and James is knocking down those little 10, 15 footers, we're really, we're really tough to beat. McGinty seems to have come a long way just in the last couple of weeks. Yeah, um, you know, he's a freshman, you know. Uh, what we're trying to eliminate is one bad game, good game, two bad games, a good game. Um, Timmy's one of our hardest workers, bar none, and he's going to be very good. And I'm hoping all the experience that he's gotten in the first half of the year, he's not a freshman anymore, you know, that he gets more comfortable and gets more confident. And he's blocked some shots now, which he really didn't do uh, early on in the year. So, um, yeah, if we, can, if we can make a little bit of a run here, um, I mean, our side right now is wide open, you know, our, uh, the, the, the south. And if we can just play consistent basketball and have consistent efforts, and Timmy's one of those guys, um, you know, we're, we're hoping to, 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 to maybe make a little run here the second half of the year. Um, not much out of uh, Mark Pace tonight. Uh, Right He's been struggling. Uh, Mark's been struggling. You know, um, I, I, I don't know what the answer to that is. You know, uh, he's um, uh, you know, he knocks down. He's been knocking down some shots, but he, he he hasn't been real effective for us inside. And you know, teams have been putting some bigger, physical, more physical guys on him. And and uh, for Mark to be effective, he has to be a high energy guy. He has to play with high energy. And right now he's not playing with that same energy he was maybe a month ago, or even at the start of the season. You know, um, uh, again, you know he's he's got to find a way to come in and uh, in, in practice and in games just to play at a little bit more high energy. He's a six-three post guy. If you don't play with high energy, you're not going to get many looks. So, coach, one of your better shooting performances overall. Any one thing that you can point to that led to that? You know, we hit some shots early. You know, I think you always gain some confidence and then having a lead. You know, I always think that helps too. Uh, you know, when you have a double digit lead, those shots seem to go down a little bit easier. Um, but we were able to get to the rim and I thought we made some good decisions. Obviously, Nate got it to some of our shooters in just some great positions. Um, and anytime you get into the lane and draw the defense in, and, you know, if you're getting people five or, five or six feet off you, you know, um, you know, hopefully we can knock down those shots. But I think getting an early lead really helped us. Seems that was about as crisp as the offense has run, you know, and selfish and making a good pass as I've seen so far. You know, we even at Marion, I thought we we were we were okay at times, just didn't make shots. You know, um, we had some looks that just didn't make. I mean, we were missing somewhat contested shots. You know, tonight, you know, it was a physical game, but we were getting hit but finishing. You know, Marion, we were getting hit and not finishing. Marion, we had some open looks and didn't knock them down. Um, and again, we gave up a big run in that game. We didn't give up a big, big run tonight. So we're trying to stress that, hey, don't worry about the official. Don't worry about, you know, um, somebody making a call or not making a call. Just go through people and make a shot. So, yeah, tonight we did that a little bit, you know. And, and again, when you're making some outside shots and, you know, some guys make some inside shots early on, everyone feeds off that a little bit. And, uh, you know, Nate did some really good things early on, obviously getting to the rim and just distributing the ball. So. But it's one game. We got a long way to go. We got a long way to go. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks.